Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to be looking at a VFR departure out of Manchester. Just like the last VFR tutorial we're going to be in the Cessna 152 which is the most common training aircraft and today we're going to start off by using ChartFox to look at the VFR charts for Manchester. If you don't know what ChartFox is basically it's a web service that allows you to see all the charts you're going to need uh, when flying on VATSIM. All you need is a Navigraph account which you can create for absolutely free and of course uh, a VATSIM account. So once you're logged into that we can go ahead to the iCal section and if you're flying out of Manchester like me it's going to be Echo Golf Charlie Charlie and then we can click load. From here we're going to have some different sections here uh, different types of charts but when flying VFR you're only going to need a few of them. So first of all, let's get the taxi chart. We'll get the uh, taxi section up here at the top and then the aerodrome chart. Press a little plus icon and that will go up there. Going over to the VFR section of it now, we can go over to general and then we can see some different things here. So we can see so the main chart we're going to need is the control zone and control area chart. And that includes the entry and exit lanes and VRPs. We can also add this to our dock up here. On these kind of charts, they don't always load properly on the actual website. And as soon as you start zooming in, things it's going to buffer again. So I'd recommend scrolling down a little bit and clicking on this link down here. That will take you to the other website. I'll leave that open in another tab and it will take you to a different tab where this will load. And there you go, you now have your chart. So this chart may look a bit confusing, but now we can go ahead and have a look at what all of this actually shows. So as you can see here, there's a runway here, which is marked as Liverpool. That's going to be Liverpool Airport. However, we're not flying out of Liverpool. That's just there because it's in the control zone of Manchester. Everything on here is within the control zone of Manchester. But as you can see here, this is the Manchester Airport. There's two runways of 05 left and right and 23 left and right. So for this video we're going to be departing out of 05 left on VATSIM and we're going to be taking a VFR departure to the east uh, via the Buxton VRP and Buxton is here. It's a small town uh, just outside of Manchester and uh, that is what's called a VRP. A VRP is basically a point uh, on a map that you can use to determine where you are uh, in relation to an airport. So for example, as you're getting towards Buxton, you know then you're leaving the Manchester control zone. And in that case, you'd call up ATC and tell them that you're leaving the control zone and they'll give you a frequency change. In that case, on VATSIM, you'd monitor Unicom or in the real world, you'd monitor uh, the uh, ATC radar service that covers it above that area. So in this case, it'll be London North. Even if you're not in their control zone because you're too low, uh, you'd still monitor London North in case of an emergency. Uh, then you'd be able to say that, say the emergency on London. So the actual uh, departure has a route still on VFR to get from the runway to the selected VRP. There's many VRPs, not just Buxton. As you can see, we have the Lamelode Reservoir, which we're going to need um, when making our way over to Buxton. We also have Whaley Bridge and Glossop, and they're all kind of things going to the east. Glossop could also be used to the north. We also have uh, Wigan Lakes and an industrial estate up here. So lots of different VRPs which you can use to go to many different places from the one airport. So you could also head uh, to the west, to the north, or to the south, you could use the uh, M6 sandback services. So because we're using the Buxton VRP, uh, we can see there's actually a route here coming off of 23 left. And that's kind of some arrows that takes us over in the general direction of Buxton. So this is going to be uh, one of the main ways uh, that we can make our way over to the VRP. So after our departure on 05 left, uh, we're going to turn right and head to the south side of the airfield and kind of stay parallel on the left-hand side of runway 23 left. 
as we're coming up towards the end of the runway we can, we can make a right turn and we should see a kind of a town or village here as marked with this darker gray color as you can see these arrows go just on the right hand side of this town or village uh, which i'm guessing is alderly edge so we stay on the right of them two villages here could be the same one uh, just in two different parts and then over here you'll see some more towns and villages we're gonna head kind of straight through the middle of that so there should be one kind of straight ahead of us which we're gonna head to the middle and a bit to the right of and then there should be two more behind that a big one to the right and a smaller one to the left we're gonna head between the middle of them and then turn right not too much just probably by like five or ten degrees and that should take us to the Lamelode Reservoir. From there, we should see a quite tall mountain, uh, which is marked up here at 1,834 feet. Whenever you see a coloured in dot like this, and there are a number above it, uh, that will be terrain, and that tells you the altitude the terrain is at uh, when you're on the local Q&H. So in this case, uh, we're going to be flying about 2,000 feet. Uh, so we're only going to have just under 200 feet a uh, difference between us and the top of the mountains so this is normally the highest point of the mountain or terrain uh, that'll be like the kind of the peak of it uh, so we're going to head towards that and then off our right hand side we should see a road the yellow lines are different roads that go all throughout uh, the country and so we can use them uh, to make our way over to different places in the sky then we're going to follow that road until we reach a junction over here and we're going to take a left there and then we can follow that road all the way to Buxton. Once we can see Buxton and we've taken a left on that road, uh, we'll report overhead Buxton uh, to the Manchester Tower. At that point, Manchester Tower will give us a frequency change and tell us to squawk something called conspicuity. Squawking conspicuity basically means squawking any squawk code that applies to you at that time. So in the UK, when you're flying VFR, uh, normally you will squawk 7010 to show that you're VFR. And, and if you go into any other uh, control zones by mistake, uh, they'll see your squawk and realise you've just gone above the altitude uh, slightly. So our flight plan is going to look like that. And once we're at Buxton, we're going to circle around Buxton a bit. And that will be it for this video. So that's enough of the theory. Now let's get over to the aircraft and we can listen to the ATIS at Manchester. Ground Golf Bravo Golf Alpha Bravo. Request radio check 121.85 and start up the VFR departure to the east. Golf Bravo Golf Alpha Bravo Manchester. Hello. Readability 5. Start up approved. Readability 5. Start up approved. Golf Alpha Bravo. Seat of information X-ray and advise aircraft type on first contact. Manchester information X-ray. Time one one two zero Zulu. Runway in use zero five left. Transition level flight level six zero. Surface wind three six zero degrees seven knots. Visibility ten kilometers or more. Broken two thousand one hundred feet. Temperature plus one seven, dew point plus one three, QNH one zero one seven, threshold QFE one zero zero eight. Ground is open. Acknowledge receipt of information X ray and advise aircraft type on first contact. Okay, so now we've got the ATIS uh, information X ray today. And runway in use is now zero five left. Golf Bravo, Golf Alpha Bravo, Manchester. <laughs> Golf Alpha Bravo, go ahead. Golf Alpha Golf Alpha Bravo, you appear to leave the Manchester control zone to the east via Buxton, not above altitude 2,000 feet, squawk 7350. Appear to leave the control zone via the east via the Buxton VRP, squawk 7350, not above altitude 2,000 feet, Golf Alpha Bravo. Golf Alpha Bravo, read back, correct. Okay, so normally when you're flying VFR, uh, you'll receive your clearance when you reach the holding point of the runway. However, in this situation, uh, I actually hadn't planned a departure for 05 left, and the part of the video you saw at the start, I actually filmed after. 
Someone's actually flying. Uh, I contacted ground and just asked if a departure to the east was still possible on the runway 05 because it wasn't actually marked on the charts. So normally if you're going to be flying VFR on Vatsim, uh, you request taxi first and then once you reach the holding point, uh, they'll give you your clearance. Go for Alpha Bravo, ready for taxi. Go for Alpha Bravo, taxi, uh, uh, just hold position for now. What's your whole position go for Bravo? Okay, so while we're waiting now, we can actually probably do our run-ups here. Um, we currently are not facing into the wind, I don't believe. Wind is 360. Okay, we're mostly there, so we'll do our run-ups now. Um, we can check all this. Well, I've been told to wait. That's go for Golf Alpha Bravo. Taxi Hunting Point Bravo 1 via Alpha. Order point Bravo 1 via Alpha Golf Alpha Bravo. We need to find out how we can do this without scraping the wing, which isn't going to happen. I'm just going to go straight through that. Okay, I was going to continue straight down here. Ground Transavia 457 at stand 10 is uh, Airbus AC20 Neo with information X ray requesting uh, clearance to uh, skip all. Transavia 457, contact Manchester delivery for clearance now. Just opened frequency 121.75. Just Bravo 1. Confirm 121.7. 121.7 one for. Nice landing. Girls Alpha Bravo, contact Tower 118.625. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Tower 118.625, Girls Alpha Bravo. Push to where, sorry? Push to face to the north on 1988, welcome to Manchester. Left on to Juliet, hold Juliet 4, and contact ground 121 decimal 850. Good day. Tower Golf Alpha Bravo, Bravo 1. Golf Alpha Bravo, Master, hello, hold Bravo 1. Roger, hold Bravo 1, Golf Alpha Bravo. We've got a long enough runway not to use flaps, and it'll give us take better takeoff performance, uh, so we're going to avoid using flaps for this takeoff. Okay, we'll get a Unicom tuned in there when we leave the airspace at Buxton. Once again, as I said in the last VFR video, uh, IFR traffic always takes priority, uh, so we'll probably be here for a while until the IFR traffic already waiting departs. Uh, let's see if there's any other traffic behind there. Don't think there is. So we'll probably be going um, after this uh, next aircraft over there. Uh, we'll probably depart in after them. But there's VFR. Uh, we have to wait. We we are at the bottom of the queue for priority. Golf Alpha Bravo, behind the departing British Airways A320 from full length, runway 05 left. Fire Bravo 1, line up runway 05 left, behind. Behind the departing British Airways A320, full length, line up and wait, 05 left, behind Golf Alpha Bravo. Okay, so after this departing aircraft has uh, passed us, uh, then we are cleared to line up on 05 left for takeoff. So you can probably expect to be in the air in probably about two two minutes, roughly. That was a fast takeoff. Wow, okay. Well, we can now line up, so we'll make sure we've got landing lights on, strobe lights on as well. Put our transponder to altitude mode, so that if it's any landing aircraft, uh, they'll see us on their transponder. It'll tell them to go around because we're on the runway. Clear left, clear right, or clear right, clear left. Check the right first, and uh, then we can line up. Uh, Golf Alpha Bravo, surface winds three six zero degrees seven knots, runway zero five left. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff zero five left. Golf Alpha Bravo. And here we go. That full throttle. Make sure I've got the charts up on a separate screen or something so you can see it. Shuttle line informants, hello, continue, hold Alpha 1. 
What the hell that's going on? We're able to go for this table. Yeah, we've got some strong uh, wind. Roger, hold out for golf one. Hold out for golf one, should I? We're climbing, so we'll set trim. About so 10 degrees. Lufthansa 947, taxiing on Alpha 4, Alpha 1. Lufthansa 947, match to Tahoe, hello, continue, hold out for one. Continue, hold out for one, Lufthansa 947. Manchester Tower, good afternoon, Golf Tango Oscar, Bravo Yankee, 11 miles to the west, uh, looking for joining the instructions for landing. Golf Tango Oscar, Bravo Yankee, Manchester Tower, hello, pass your details. Golf Tango Oscar, Bravo Yankee, currently 800 feet, uh, 11 miles to the west of yourselves, uh, is a CT Superlight looking for joining instructions to land. Golf. Tango Oscar Bravo Yankee, thank you very much. You are clear to enter the Manchester control zone via the Stratton VRP. Not above altitude 2,000 feet VFR on the Manchester QH 1017 and Squawk 7353. Okay, so we're going to follow this down uh, the active, uh, the inactive runway here, uh, which is 05 right, coming down this way. You can follow this. And there should be a road somewhere. Golf Alpha Bravo, route towards Buxton, report overhead. Route towards Buxton and Wilco, report overhead, Golf Alpha Bravo. Okay, we'll set uh, 1,200 se RPM. Zero seven six. Traffic information is Cessna 17, uh, correction, 152, routing to the west towards Buxton. Surface wind 020 zero degrees, 8 knots, runway 05 left, close to take off. Clip take off uh, 05 left and uh, we're visual with that traffic, thanks very much, 2076. Shuttle 90 uniform, behind the departing Neptune 737 by Alpha Golf 1, line up runway 05 left, behind. Time departing 737, line up 05 left, uh, behind, short line for Is it may also be an idea if you have Volanta? Uh, you can see on here uh, kind of where you're going as you can see we're kind of heading uh, in the right direction so as you can see this seems to be the town so we need to stay on the right side of this so we'll go in here we need to pass this second bit uh, second part here second village uh, off to the right as well and then we should go over um, Zero, and seven, we should see six, some other towns over here. Unicorn 122 decimal thanks very much. Neptune 076. It's now set our uh, 2200 RPM. We can trim the aircraft. Zero 05 left, clear to take now. Let's take us 05 left, shall I come? Zero 05 left, zero 05 left, clear to take Lufthansa 947 via Alpha 1, line up runway 05 left. Via Alpha 1, line up 05 left, As you can see we've got some fog coming in here it looks like. It's going to reduce our visibility quite a bit. It could be a challenge as we're flying VFR. So now we're looking for the next town. Shouldn't be that far away. Line uniform, unfortunately, no further ATC. Unicom 122 there, it's like it, eh? What's that, some light? Uh, she might have done
Okay, here we go. We've got some other towns here. So we need to head. I kind of through this basically. Lufthansa 947, surface wind 0, 020 zero degrees, 8 knots, runway 05 left, cliff takeoff. Cliff takeoff 05 left, Lufthansa 947. Okay, we can also follow this river here, we can see off our left. Uh, that goes quite far over this way, and if we follow that, it should also take us towards Buxton. Okay, as you can see, we've gone slightly above uh, the 2000. No, just Altitude mark. Uh, Transavia 457 Manchester, hello. Via Alpha 1, runway 05 left. Surface winds 020 degrees, 8 knots. Cliff takeoff. Cliff takeoff, Transavia 457. Okay, we're going to follow this road. Okay, if we follow this road, uh, it should also take us towards Buxton. In the flying VFR you need to use a lot of landmarks, just like really simple ones like roads. And that will definitely lead you towards your destination. On the chart you can see some um, terrain at about 1,800 feet. Uh, so you can look for that, it's going to be over here somewhere. So Buxton's going to be behind all these mountains. So here we can see a little village. And then over here we can see... It looks to be a lake. This could be the Lamelode, a uh, Lamelode, sorry, uh, reservoir. So now there should be a road off to the right, which we can see here. And by following that, it should take us over towards Buxton. Okay, so we can head over these mountains here, uh, which we can see uh, on the charts marked on the chart. decrease our RPM again. And here you can see the road that is on uh, the charts as well. So now we can follow this towards Buxton. They should take us all the way there. Okay, so this is probably Buxton here. This will be the town of Buxton. So we can call up ATC uh, tower, good afternoon, uh, and tell them we're Yoko overhead Hotel Buxton. Tower Golf Alpha Bravo, overhead Buxton. Golf Alpha Bravo, thank you very much, sir. Leaving controlled airspace, squawk conspicuity and frequency change approved. Good day. Leaving controlled airspace, squawk conspicuity and frequency change approved. Golf Alpha Bravo, thank you. Okay, so we'll squawk uh, 7010 and we will go over to Unicorn and here we are at Buxton and we can check this on Volanta as well. Uh, you can see we're coming up towards Buxton here and this has been our flight so far. So fairly accurate in terms of uh, where we're supposed to go on the charts. So uh, once again, uh, we're going to stay below 2000 uh, because I haven't actually checked uh, what the altitude is here, but we'll just stay at 2000. Um, for now, because that's what we were told by ATC. So we're here towards Buxton, we're going to try and keep our bearing of where we are. So when we join back um, into Manchester in the next video, uh, we need to know how to get there from Buxton. So for now, thank you for watching everyone, 
hope you enjoyed this video on a VFR departure. The next video will be out uh, next week at the time of uploading. Uh, so that will be a VFR arrival back into Manchester. When we arrive, it will probably still be 05 uh, left in use because I'll be recording it just after this video. Uh, so it will be all same runway ops. So make sure you stick around for the next video and you can subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss it. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.